Why don't, why don't we uh, hook back up at 11 o'clock and you're on the other side ready to go? All right. That's right, Mr. All right, Jennings. Baby, out. We're still going strong. <laughs> um, and uh, let's, like, uh, eh. let's go to a break <laughs> real quick. Did we play? We did play Bounds Other Report, didn't we? Do we play both of Bounds Reports? I know Jakari's got a few reports. We could throw in those. We, you know oh, we, we could do? we didn't do the wolf bet. We wolf. could do the how big. Uh, we went through this. We had Carmen, our intern. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to explain them all, and then we're going to lump them all together and play them all in a row. And then play a couple ads, and then we'll come back. Because, you know, we've been doing this. We're, we're about to hit four hours. We're getting a little, <laughs> I think our backs are going out at this point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got to get up from this chair for a second. It is getting a little hot in here. A little. I'm getting a little shiny. I feel it. Um, so these are clips uh, from the How Big hearing where he, he had to go up uh, to Sandy Hook. Uh, his attorney is Kay Wilson, and the Sandy Hook lawyer is Monty Frank. He's the bald guy in the shots that you'll see. Uh, a couple of things about Monty Frank. He started a, a cyclist group called Team 26 where they ride to D.C., and he's a gun control legislation advocate. So I don't know if he's biased or at all, but he does try to offer testimony in uh, in one of the clips. At one point, he just starts blurting out testimony. He's not objecting. He's not being a lawyer. He becomes an active participant in there. Uh, the first thing, what we'll start with is is him asking for the security system, um, and then the ju and then they're talking about well, there's a lot of reports that they installed a new security system, and then we never saw any video of of anything mm -hmm. going on in there. But the judge says uh, news articles are hearsay and not credible information. And then he asked for the log for people checking in because while Gene Rosen, we have actual proof of this, Gene Rosen is being interviewed, a guy who a lot of people think is questionable. Behind him, there's a flashing sign that's saying everybody must check in. Mm -hmm. Everybody must check in. Mm -hmm. So how big saying, where's that log that everybody checked in? You're saying you have a giant flashing road sign that says everybody must check in. Check in where? Check in where and what are they checking into? And let's see that list. Let's see how many people checked in. The second, he's asking for uh, proof uh, from a school board meeting that there was um, permission slips signed for people, for these kids to go on this Super Bowl trip. He said, you can't have kids going out of state without there being permission slips. There's a procedure you have to follow. And they don't have that. And they pretend like they don't know what he's talking about. And then he starts interviewing uh, the police chief and there's an incident log that they that they write up after an incident happens. Well, the incident log pertaining to Sandy Hook lists an unwanted person as what's going on. And it lists uh, that 22 cop cars showed up and that it was only a medium threat. Now, I find that hard to believe that the second the second biggest shooting in school shooting in American history is a medium threat. And it's being listed as an unwanted person. I find that really hard to believe. And this report's written, written after the fact, not... It's not a report that's being written in real time as 911 calls are coming in. And there were 911 calls of people supposedly saying there's being shots fired. Right. Um, the next clip will go to the explanation of, uh, of why the lawyer wants to see why they think that unwanted person report is wrong and been falsified. And they want to see the real report. And that's when the lawyer, um, Monty Frank, starts offering testimony. Uh, and then he asked the chief why there's no transcripts of audio communications between the state police and the helicopter, uh, state police helicopter and the Sandy Hook police on the ground uh, because there's a log that they did provide that said the state police helicopter is being called out to assist the Sandy Hook PD in locating people in the woods. So you'd think there would be communication going on there. Well, there are none, uh, apparently. And then there's the case of the dashboard video cams, which uh, Wolfgang went and looked at and they had no time code on them hmm. and they released these dash cam videos on the web with time code and with the officer's name but the stuff that he saw did not have that it's just weird like well, how how do you get rid of the logs like that is it that easily falsified that you can just r remove it after it's been you know created two years later it's you can still remove the the log and then he uh speaks with the uh head of facilities there at newtown it's gino faella and um, he asked him if he had any emails between him and Don Hopsprung. And the guy says, I'm not sure if we have any emails. So he, says he's, he says he's seen them, but he says, do they exist? He and says, did you read them? Did you see them? Do you read yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, not so they sure. exist. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm, yeah. And, and <laughs> then they, they ask him about work order. So those are, it's a whole two hour, uh, you know, uh, hearing that's online. 
and you can go watch it. Just want further anomalies. It, it's it's hey, definitely Rob. some anomalies. Yeah, Rob, I I, I got to say, I, you know, as Montel Williams said, Alex Jones is a fraud for profit. His attacks on school shooting victims are evil. So you shouldn't ask any of these questions. Anybody that uh, investigates this, you know, like a school safety consultant like uh, Wolfgang Halbig, uh, he shouldn't ask any questions of this shooting. We right. shouldn't be looking to see who really was behind this. We shouldn't be investigating the actions of the police to see if they were uh, done properly. Mm -hmm. You know, he investigated Columbine. He didn't get those kinds of false answers. He didn't get that kind of stonewalling when he investigated any other school shootings. But, you know, people like Montel Williams just want to say that we hate the school shooting victims if we investigate these things. Right. No, actually, we want to keep this from happening again. That's what Wolfgang Halbig's uh, profession was. He was a highway patrolman. He was a principal. He combined those two together, become a school uh, safety consultant, and he investigated these other school shootings. But, you know, we're evil if we look at these... Um, uh, these these logs, if we look at these discrepancies, right. if we, we analyze the actions of the police, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? We're not supposed to ask questions because then we are attacking the victims. No, we're trying to stop more victims from uh, more pe victims from happening. Yeah, obviously, if a guy, one guy loaded up a uh, 100 pound weakling loaded up with ammo over hundreds of rounds mm -hmm. and, and going into a school can go in and kill that many people that quickly. Well, there's something wrong. Right. And if that's what's really, really what happened. Then, then we need to. Where did it break down? Sew up those loopholes, and the loophole is mm -hmm. not the fact that he had a gun. The loophole is the fact that there are not more guns on the campus. Right. And there's something wrong when the government will not answer for their actions, when they will hide and cover up oh, totally. and stonewall information. I mean, we're talking about free speech. We should have transparency as well, and that's what we're talking about. And that's a glaring problem with this. People like Montel Williams just don't want to see it. They just would rather troll people and make false accusations. So well, we're just going to roll these clips all at one time, and then we're going to go to a break and come back. What do you have uh, to Well, add? I just wanted to make this point, is that they say they don't want to release the video of, of Adam Lanza going in the school and all of that because they just they don't want to uh, if, you know further hurt the victims and all of that. But they released the video of uh, the Sarniev, you know, behind the little boy that was killed. I mean, that was a tragic accident. Those pictures all made that, up on the internet. They released we all, that we video right away. So where, can't release the Osama video. Why isn't that concerned? That's going to offend people. It's just a video of him show walking the videos, in the school. They did show the videos of Saddam Hussein and others that they had uh, Qaddafi. Killed. Yeah, we exactly. got to see his execution. Mm -hmm. So they're rather Saddam. selective about this, aren't yeah. they? Right. It's only the ones that are going to offend certain people. There's just certain groups that we're not allowed to offend. White people can be offended. Or maybe the ones that they just made up. <laughs> ones that aren't real there you or go. they don't have any real pictures maybe that's why they're not showing them to us these clips uh, it's about 12 minutes and a couple breaks so about a, uh, around 11 15 we'll be back but uh, people should watch this because this is some really interesting stuff behind the scenes of what's going on um in sandy hook and then we'll be back with joe biggs and he'll be on the muslim side of this protest so thanks for joining us Did you request information regarding the Sandy Hook Elementary School security system, including the name and address of the contractor who installed the security system in operation at the school before December 14, 2012? Yes, I did. Did you ever receive any of that information from the town or the school board? I received it from my attorney. And what did you receive? I received the document, a purchase order that was generated in the year 2007, 2008, showing the installation of a security system at Sandy Hook Elementary School. And uh, that's not what I was looking for. Is there any reason you had a belief that there was a newer security system that was at the school? Yes, ma'am. The national. The national news media, all major channels, carried the story the next day of the yes, incident. Yes, I have. Would you provide the document? If you're, you're, so, if you're, if you're referring to a newscast, newscasts are hearsay. You would actually. It's published. It doesn't matter if it's published in the paper or if it's on the TV station. What's what's in the public media that's not uh, credible information? You testified that you did not receive a copy of the sign-on log referred to on a traffic sign posted outside the Newtown Sandy Hook Elementary School on December 14, 2012, right? And the town responded that it does not have that document, right? 
Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but you have nothing. You don't have any documents. I mean, isn't what, that what, what, sir? Answer my question. Isn't that what it says? That the town does not have responsive documents. Absolutely, but you have documents from nobody. And you just don't believe that, correct? I don't believe you. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't believe it won't get me. So, Mr. Halvin, you're here today because you do not believe that the town has porta potty records or responses uh, in connection with the signage sheet. Is that right? No, I believe is the that, school that, board. That, I question. believe the school. I want this on the record. I would believe the school board has the records. They have school board policies. They're required to to show the expenditure, taxpayer dollars. Do you have those? Do you have that is outside of FOI. What they're required. They're required. So, so let's try to stay focused on the FOI. I agree, but I'm looking for the custodian of records. The town is not the custodian of records, even though he writes that in there. Do you have any reason to believe that I was not responding on behalf of the Board of Education, the town of Newtown? and the Newtown Police Department. I do not believe. All right, through this, item number one says consent agenda, right? Okay. Item number one, on okay. January 23rd. I'm, I'm with you, I'm here for you, go ahead. All right. The first bullet point says minutes of December 17, 2012, correct? That's true. All right, turn the, the next page. One. Turn well, the what's page. the next one say? Turn the page, turn the page. Okay. Those are minutes of the Board of Education from December 17, 2012, right? Right, that's not what I asked for. The next item. January 8th. And if you turn two pages back. I didn't ask for January 8th, but you made me pay for it. Next page is what? I, I, think, I think I made my point. point. Is you asked for copies of all supporting documents. And those could be considered supporting documents. They are the supporting no, documents. Not, he understands how a consent agenda works in public schools. I've been the school administrator. And if there's one thing I know, is how we post consent agendas. Well, Mr. Hellman, what is it that you actually thought you were going to get when you asked for these documents? What I was looking for for January 23rd on the consent agenda, when the board approved that consent agenda 5 to 0, you should have seen field trips for 26 children going to the, to the Super Bowl in New Orleans, which is an out-of-state field trip, which has to be approved by the principal, the superintendent, and the school board. Nowhere on any of those documents have I reviewed can you find that field trip signed and approved. That's what I'm looking for. And it should be on the consent agenda. And the reason I say that, sir, is because if you look at the document that he just provided to me, you can actually see a field trip being approved on the consent agenda. Field trips are approved on consent agendas. You just cannot find the one that I'm looking for. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, but can I do another document for two, two copies for you and your council, um, Chief Peacock? Chief Kehoe, it purports to be a daily incident log. Do you recognize it as such? Yes, I do. Okay, is this an official record of the Newtown Police Department? Yes. Okay, and I direct your attention, sir, to page three of this document, which has been marked as Complainants Exhibit C. Um, <clears throat> are you looking at page three? Yes. Looks like it's for, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but this is for December 14, 2012 at 9.35? At the top of the page? Yes. Okay. What is the incident type there? Unwanted person. And the location or venue? 12 Dickinson Drive. Okay. You understood that to be the Sandy Hook Elementary School? Yes. Okay. Now, there seems to be a list of uh, units. Um, I'm counting Looks like there were 22 units that are identified. Were those all Newtown units? Newtown Police Department units? Again, I would object and I can ask what this has to do with the subject of this appeal. Your Honor, we have requested um, under 
FIC 14461, our exhibit CA is the 